the MD for SG Summer of Science. It's in its second year. It's a it's a collaboration between Mechanism Design for Social Good and and government institutions in Mexico that are either research councils or collaborations of research councils, where we uh, we request uh, proposals from female indigenous students uh, throughout the country now on um, projects aimed at improving their communities. And we, we choose certain proposals to be matched with researchers that we have within the MD4SG research initiative. This, this project becomes a collaboration between them where the students bring the, the know-how, the expertise in their communities, and our researchers might incorporate different techniques that can be used to address the challenges that the students have proposed. And over the course of the summer, our, um, this, the, our, the students meet with their collaborator on a weekly basis to prepare a poster to present at our flagship conference, um, EMO. I think a, a lot of the projects really end up focusing a lot on cultural identity and linguistic identity. And so, for example, for equitable access to healthcare, there'll be topics on um, are there medical informational resources in their local languages? Um, another topic of interest is preservation of indigenous culture, where some of our students are uh, performing workshops to preserve culture, preserve language, and trying to understand how to optimize their efforts. We have some work on, um, on equitable housing for older individuals in indigenous communities, and, and also some initial studies on, on local governance, on what are the governance structures, what are some of the social fabrics that interlay with the governance structures, and how might they be improved upon, or what can be learned from them. For one of the projects that we worked on, um, which, which had to do with, with medical resources in, um, in Tenec and Nahuatl communities in, in the Huasteca Potosina. The, the problem at hand was adherence to tuberculosis medication. And one of the questions is how can you allocate um, medical professionals or volunteers to these communities in a way that, uh, that best impacts your outcome, your desired outcome, in this case being people taking their tuberculosis medication. And, uh, and so this is what we call an optimization problem in computer science, but we have to formulate exactly what we're trying to achieve. What are our benchmarks? And, and this process of creating this benchmark for the optimization problem is, uh, is I think, a really important conversation to be had with these same communities. I have greatly benefited from my interaction with student groups, with undergraduates. I'm, my, my wife and I are super fortunate to be resident tutors at Lowell House where, in fact, many, much of the excitement for this work for Summer of Science and bringing students here, I think, is, is from the very students that I talk to, uh, from the Latinx students, from students who are, are part of, of Raza, Cuatl, these different student groups that are so keen and excited to learn from, from our Summer of Science students. And, and that excitement, I think, has also just led this, this project to grow to new levels. My, my PI, my supervisor is, is David Parks, David is a, a towering figure in our field of economics and computations. But beyond David, I also have been working very heavily with Ariel Procaccia as well on, on um, in fact, research projects based in Mexico. We, we have a, a large research project on, um, on allocating COVID testing resources optimally in, in universities in Mexico where resources can be constrained. The summer of science and my COVID testing work have been I think by far my most memorable and enjoyable and impactful projects. And I want to keep on working on, on projects that are tangibly affect resource constrained communities that where, where there is huge potential for using algorithmic approaches to facilitate uh, allocation of resources to those in need.